What's up everyone, my name is Guillaume, this is Thurman's Guitars and Basses, and in today's episode of Head the Tone, we're talking about Detroit Rock City by KISS. <laughs> What is up everyone, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Thomas Guitars and Basses. As you know in this series I teach you how to get the playing and the sounding right on your favourite song so go check out the playlist, maybe I've already covered it. If not, leave it in the comment section down below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But today we're talking about the song Detroit Rock City by KISS, starting with the guitar setup. And obviously we're talking about Ace Frehley here, so the guitar choice is fairly obvious, it's got to be a Gibson Les Paul. That being said, this is not exactly the right guitar, he was mostly using Les Paul Customs and the Peter Frampton thing with like all three pickups. But I think because we're playing in the bridge position for that song and most of Kiss, like rhythm guitar, uh, any single cut type of instrument with a humbucker in the bridge uh, will do just fine. So. Yeah, there's no need to stay on the guitar for too long. It's gotta be that. Let's talk about our amp and pedal setup. Now, as far as I know, that particular album and that era of Kiss, so like mid seven, I think Destroyer was 76? Let's say 76, was Marshall. It was Marshall. It was a Les Paul into a Marshall. Very, very few effects. They were very few in existence, actually. So, as far as I could read up, for that particular album, Ace Frehley used a modified Marshall Plexi, Marshall Super Lead, and into it was put a, an EHX, an Electro Harmonix, sort of preamp boost thingy. Now, I haven't found a lot of information on it, let alone finding one, uh, but as far as I understood it, it was not only a volume boost, but also a little bit of a gain boost. And that was like, there's very few things like that on the market now. We have a lot of boosts available, but nothing that's meant to emulate that particular unit. So I was kind of left without any pedals right now, and that scares me a lot. But I did try a bunch of things uh, before shooting that video. I tried using the Mini Plexi, which I do use a lot on Hit The Tone, and it was just not cutting it. Regardless of how much I was boosting it, it was the wrong kind of grit, it was very harsh, it wasn't like the THE KISS hard rock tone. And then I tried my luck with the JCM800 combo uh, that I use around here a lot as well. It's definitely a different kind of EQ than what you'd have with a Plexi type of amp, but for some reason, with the mids and treble maxed out and the preamp maxed out, we were getting there. Like it was starting to like take the take the, the Kiss hard rock guitar sound uh, shape that I was looking for. Just not enough gain, and I think that's where my electro harmonics preamp booster would have come in. But I uh, chose to go with the Archer by J Rocket, which is a, a clone clone, uh, but fairly neutral kind of big volume boost with a little bit of gain as well to help push the front end of the amp. So I'm gonna play the guitar through the amp alone first and then I'll kick in the pedal so that you guys can hear the difference. <laughs> And obviously the pedal makes a world of difference and for me gets really, really close to that, you know, classic Les Paul into a Marshall sound, but more like mid late 70s where gain was already like up there. So I'm really liking that sound, I'm gonna stick with it and go on the final part of that video, which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. And the first thing you got to know before you pick up your guitar is that it has to be tuned in D sharp. So half a step down, E flat, D sharp, I don't know. Guitar players will say E flat, but technically D sharp makes more sense. 
you know what I mean. You take every string and you drop it half a step down and that's going to be valid for a lot of Kiss songs as well. So if you go into that kind of repertoire, it's definitely a good place to be. But with that said, uh, let's uh, have a very close up look at how to play the riff exactly. <laughs> Now it's only one of many iconic KISS intros, KISS riffs in general. The thing to keep in mind is that Ace Frehley was a very unconventional guitar player. Like he, had a, a, he never took a single lesson and so he had a lot of weird shapes for certain chords and just weird ways to place his hands and fingers for even just regular bar chords, which resulted in a lot of kind of just new ways to play those notes and just new ways to phrase those riffs. And, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they're not legends for no reason. Fairly simple, really accessible to anyone. And I mean, I don't think there's a better place to start learning, you know, 70s hard rock than to start learning KISS. But with that said, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Detroit Rock City by KISS. As usual, I hope this video was useful and that maybe you've learned something today. So if so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on future episodes and all the fun stuff that we do around here. In the meantime, uh, take good care of yourselves, keep playing music, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.